Police are investigating tonight after five teenage girls were in a crash on I-96 today. The girls are all juniors at Grand Haven High School and were on their way to Lansing to watch their school's basketball team play in the state semifinals. The car they were in crossed the median on 96, something that's not supposed to happen when those cable barriers are in place, which they were. 24-Hour News 8 Steve Kelso has that part of the story for us tonight. The accident started when a vehicle came from across the other side of the interstate and ended up on this side. That's not supposed to happen with these cable barriers in place. When the car left the roadway, it struck the end of one of the cable barriers. Police say it began to roll, going either over or through the second cable barrier, landing just short of oncoming traffic. Well, this right here is not consistent, what we've been told. However, I can't badmouth cable guardrail. We, we're out here all the time. We have a ton of calls out here. And overall, um, I give cable guardrail good reviews. Here's the theory. The cable guardrails are designed to absorb the energy of an impact and keep vehicles from crossing over the median. The guardrails have not been without their opponents who believe they can cause more harm than good. In 2008, the Michigan Department of Transportation began installing 300 miles of the cable barriers along interstates that have a history of cross-median crashes. MDOT claims that the barriers are very cost-effective compared to other materials, and they estimate they will save 13 lives annually in accidents just like this one. Some responders I spoke with at the scene thought the cable barrier was a failure today. Others disagree. I'm sure it took some steam out of them, you know, slowed them down some, and who knows if this wasn't here at all. Granted, it looks like it didn't do its job, but the car didn't wind up in the traffic. You know, who knows if there was semis cruising through there at the time, and that car would have wound up in there. It could have been a terrible scene. MDOT's Office of Research and Best Practices is in the midst of an extensive study of the barriers. We should see those results in 2014. Near Lowell, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.